Welcome to Tech Packs. Today we're diving into an innovative and practical project, building a mobile app op operated robotic arm. This project is controlled via Bluetooth and MQTT using an ESP32 module. Our goal with this robotic arm project is to create a versatile and precise control system that's both educational and functional. The robotic arm can be controlled via a mobile app using Bluetooth for nearby connections or via the IoT MQTT protocol for remote control from anywhere in the world. It's, it's an excellent project for learning about electronics, robotics, and programming with the ESP32. In a world where automation and remote operations are becoming increasingly relevant, projects like this provide a hands-on way to learn and understand the basics of robotics and remote control systems. Now let's see the demonstration of the project. First, open the mobile app and connect it to robotic arm using Bluetooth. Now let's see how it controlled through mobile app using different controls. First, let's look at the jaw movement. The robotic arm features a jaw that can open and close. This movement is crucial for gripping and manipulating objects. The elbow joint of the robotic arm can also move up and down. This flexibility is essential for adjusting the arm's reach and angle. Another important movement is the wrist roll. This rotation enables the arm to orient objects in different directions. The robotic arm can move left and right. This lateral movement enhances the arm's ability to maneuver within its workspace. We'll showcase how this advanced robotic arm picks up a bottle with precision and ease. Here we have the robotic arm equipped with a versatile gripper. This gripper is designed to handle a variety of objects, including bottles. The bottle is placed on the table. Our goal is to have the robotic arm pick it up efficiently and accurately and drop it to new location. That's all about the demonstration of the robotic arm. Now let's discuss the assembling and wiring of the robotic arm step by step. Start by mounting the servo motors onto the robotic arm chassis, ensuring they are securely attached to allow precise movements. Connect the servo motors to the ESP32 module with the signal wires connected to specific PWM capable pins on the ESP32. The power and ground wires of the servo motors should be connected to the 5 volts 5 amperes SMPS supply. Let's move on to the circuit design and schematic. The 5 volts 5 amperes SMPS supply powers the ESP32 module. Each of the six servo motors is connected to the ESP32 with their signal wires connected to specific PWM capable pins on the ESP32. The power and ground wires of the servos are connected to the SMPS. This setup ensures that the ESP32 can precisely control the servo motors based on the commands received from the mobile app. With the hardware all set up, it's time to program the microcontroller. Now let's see the code explanation. Let's break down the code step by step. We start by including the necessary libraries. The ESP32 servo library allows us to control servo motors, while the Bluetooth serial library enables Bluetooth communication, essential for our project. Next, we create a Bluetooth serial object and define six servo objects. Each servo is connected to a specific pin on the ESP32. We'll also define the pins for each servo motor, ensuring they are correctly assigned. We initialize variables to store the initial angles for each servo and other necessary data. 
This setup helps in maintaining the state and position of each servo motor throughout the operation. In the setup function, we initialize serial communication and Bluetooth. We then attach the servos to their respective pins and set their initial positions. This initial setup is crucial for ensuring that all components are correctly configured and ready to operate. The attach all servo function attaches each servo to its designated pin. This step in Boer yours that all servos are properly connected and can be controlled individually. In the loop function, we continuously read data from the Bluetooth connection. This function listens for commands and processes them to control the servo motors based on the received instructions. The get from Bluetooth function reads incoming data from the Bluetooth connection. It extracts the servo number, direction, and speed from the received command, which are then used to control the servos. The action function I s where the magic happens. Based on the received commands, this function adjusts the angles of the servos. It includes conditions for different servo speeds and directions, ensuring precise control over the servo movements. And that's a wrap. We've successfully broken down the code for controlling multiple servo motors using an ESP32 and Bluetooth. This setup is highly versatile and can be adapted for various projects. In conclusion, this project is a fantastic way to learn about electronics, robotics, and programming while creating a functional and versatile device. If you enjoyed this project, please like, share, and subscribe to TechPacks for more innovative projects. Visit our website to buy the complete project kit. Browse our website techpacks.ca, choose your project, then click on Buy Now button. Fill the required fields, and you are go. Odd to go, you can also access our recorded training program. Thank you for watching, and stay tuned for more exciting content from TechPacks.